Okay, question. What's the median age for a rookie in the NFL? For my money, I would have to say 22. We've seen 21 year olds and even 20 year old rookies in the professional league, but I would say with complete confidence, 22 year olds make up the majority of rookies. As far as cutoffs go, I would say it's 24 and even then you're getting up there. So what age was pass rusher Cameron Wake when he made his NFL debut? 27. Yeah, that's old. Okay, I'm 27 and I consider myself to be young. Relative to an NFL career, however, 27 is in mid-age. At least it's better than Brandon Whedon, who was a 28-year-old rookie. Anyway, Wake's journey through the NFL requires taking a look at his journey to the NFL. At the end, we'll find out what made him one of the most beloved pass rushers of the 2010s and the NFL's senior sack master. This is a video essay on the art of Cameron Wake. Cameron Wake's NFL journey starts in a conventional place, the CFL. Undrafted after playing most of his collegiate career at Penn State as a linebacker, Wake signed with the Giants, where he lasted two months before getting cut by Tom Coughlin. Wake looked back on the short stint as fuel to his fire, allowing him to become the sack daddy he was born to be. Out of football for a couple years while working as a mortgage broker, which he hated, he eventually got a call from the CFL's BC Lions, where he would destroy league records immediately after making a switch to defensive end. Wake became the CFL's first player to win both Defensive Rookie of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year, leading the league in sacks in both of his two seasons in the CFL. The Canadian football legend was obviously grateful for the experience, thanking the Lions for being his first football family. After his blockbuster two seasons in the CFL, Wake garnered interest from many NFL teams and worked out with a few, including the Dolphins, who he worked out with on January 15, 2009. Three days later, Wake signed a four-year deal with Miami, who he chose over teams like the Buffalo Bills, who, I don't know if you've heard, they also play in the AFC East, which is significant. Wake had said that the reason he signed with the Dolphins was because he trusted their coaching staff over the others. Indeed, this was a team coming off an 11-5 season where they won the AFC East. <coughs> so Wake had very good reason to be optimistic in Miami. In Wake's first full game of action, he showed exactly what the NFL had been missing when he was in the CFL. In that week four game, he collected two and a half sacks, three tackles for loss, and a 38-10 slaughter of the Buffalo Bills. It was incredible. A CFL superstar in his first full game dominating. Wake would get limited snaps the rest of the way and only started one game in his rookie season. In 2010, the training wheels came off completely for the 28-year-old. And in a full-time starting role, Wake didn't just play well, he thrived. Combining for 14 sacks, 26 quarterback hits, and a league-leading 21 tackles for loss, which to this very day, stands as a Dolphins single season record. The crowning highlight of this season occurred against the eventual Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. In that game, the Dolphins defense put up the most sacks against the Packers on the year with a grand total of five. Cameron Wake had three of them, while also hitting Rodgers a total of six times, the most knockdowns on Rodgers in a single game since 2010. From that point forward, it was smooth sailing on the South Beach shores for Wake. Though the Dolphins were consistently mediocre at that time, except for 2016 where they made the playoffs, Wake was shattering the league. No member of the Dolphins had more sacks through his first five seasons, not even Hall of Fame wrecking ball Jason Taylor. In addition, only three defenders have had more quarterback hits in their first five seasons than Cameron Wake. The pinnacle of this five-year stretch was 2012, where Cameron Wake won his only trip as a member of the Associated Press first-team All-Pro. 
In this season, he had a career-high 15 sacks plus a career-high 33 quarterback hits. This included a Week 4 game against the Arizona Cardinals where, despite an overtime loss, Wake still produced 4.5 sacks, 4 tackles for loss, and 5 quarterback hits. He led a Dolphins defense that produced a combined 8 sacks and 10 quarterback hits, and yet they still couldn't win against the Kevin Kolb Cardinals. That was depressing, so why don't we change the subject? In 2013, Cameron Wake achieved something that's only happened two other times prior, the walk-off safety. In overtime against the Bengals, Wake sacked Cincinnati quarterback Andy Dalton in the end zone, resulting in a game-winning safety for Miami. Once again, this has only happened three times in NFL history. By this time, Wake was in his early 30s, a time where people usually say you're either on the good or wrong side of 30. See, despite starting his career at the age of 27, Wake is one of 35 members of the 100 Sacks Club. Looking at all 35 members, it may come to your surprise that many of the best pass rushers in NFL history are in this club. Looking at the average age of the rookie season of each member, we can see that it's just slightly above 22. Now consider that, as aforementioned, Wake was 27 years old in his rookie season. Now, let's consider that the average age of retirement in the NFL is 27. Cameron Wake started his rookie season at a time where most players hang it up, and he ended up collecting 100 sacks anyway. And yet, despite being really, really old, Cameron Wake is one of five players with multiple games of four sacks or more in the 21st century. What's even more impressive is that in 2015, Wake, at the age of 33, tore his Achilles in the middle of the 2015 season at a time where he was near the top of the leaderboards and sacks to start the year. I don't mean the Achilles tear was impressive, I'm not crazy. At 34 years old in 2016, coming off the torn Achilles, Wake put up 11 and a half sacks and 24 quarterback hits. And then in 2017, he followed it up with 10 and a half sacks and 27 quarterback hits at the age of 35. While the rest of the league was putting up young excellence, Cameron Wake was putting up war stories. How did he recover from the Achilles tear? Oh, just pushing a Range Rover onto the streets. Cameron, what the fuck? How does Cameron Wake celebrate turning 35? By being one of 13 players in NFL history with 10 sacks or more in a single season age 35 or older. Take a look at this chart and savor it, as it is the only way to fully appreciate that the NFL once had a player by the name of Two Tall Jones. Now back to Wake. How does he celebrate his first game as a member of a different team while being at the age of 37? By collecting two and a half sacks and winning AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Just, wow. To top it all off, no undrafted edge rusher has more career sacks than Wake. Second all-time in sacks among undrafted players. Cameron Wake's journey to the NFL was extremely unconventional, and his career in the NFL was the very same. He started out old and thrived old. The Canadian background of Wake is something that he credits for polishing up his game as a pass rusher, and though I would have preferred to see him debut in the NFL at a much younger age, to see him reach 100 sacks and become the face of an entire defense being a geriatric is no small feat. When you have a bend as good as his, and pass rushing moves as good as his, it doesn't matter how old you are or where you were drafted. If you're great, you're great. And Cameron Wake's career was damn great. Wait, he hasn't retired yet? Oh, um, okay. His career is damn great.